At Chrome, we want enterprises to be able to deploy the best solutions in the market, to keep employees and enterprise resources safe with the best-in-breed approach to the enterprise stack. Chrome has partnered with Splunk on a new integration to receive, view, and gather web-based security events that occur in your environment. IT teams will be able to integrate with Splunk to receive insights into risky web behavior of users for additional forensics of phishing and malware attacks. This feature is supported in all editions of Splunk, Enterprise, and Cloud. Let's take a look. Here my user is browsing to a malicious site and gets warnings around a phishing site and unsafe downloads. Now this information can be viewed by IT or security teams in tools like Splunk, so your enterprise can have further insights into root cause analysis of possible security breaches and make better informed security decisions for your organization. Now let's get it set up. First, you need to add in the Google Chrome add-on for Splunk. Log into your Splunk instance. From the Splunk web home screen, click the gear icon next to apps. Click on Browse More Apps. Do a search for Chrome, and on the Google Chrome add-on for Splunk, click on Install. Enter in your credentials and click Log In and Install. Once installation is complete, click Done. To set up the connection between the Google Admin Console and Splunk, make sure that you have enabled HTTP Event Collectors, or HEC, in your global settings. This can be found under Settings, Data Inputs. Click HTTP Event Collector. Click Global Settings. In the All Tokens Toggle button, verify that it is enabled. Click Save. Once the enablement of the HEC is completed, then you can create the hack for the Chrome Enterprise Connector. Click Settings and select Add Data. Click Monitor and then HTTP Event Collector. In the Name field, enter in Chrome for the token and click Next. Under Source Type, click Select and choose Google Chrome JSON for the source type. This option will not show up if you do not have the Google Chrome add-on installed. Once the source type is selected, click Review. Confirm the settings and click Submit. Copy the token value that Splunk Web displays and paste it into another document for reference later. This will be used when setting up the connector in the Google Admin Console. You can manage Splunk's configurations in the Google Admin Console using Chrome Browser Cloud Management. We're going to enable the Security Event Reporting Connectors. We can get there by going to Devices, Chrome, Users and Browsers. Let's add a filter for Chrome Enterprise Connectors. Under Security Events Reporting, select Allow Selected Events. Optionally, you can disable certain events from being sent by going into Additional Settings. Now that the events are turned on, click on this blue hyperlink to take you to the connector provider configurations or it can be found under Devices, Chrome, Connectors. Click the New Provider Configuration button and select Splunk as the provider. Enter in the configuration name that you want this connector to display. Enter in the domain name of your Splunk instance and the token ID generated from the HEC Splunk creation process. Press Add Configuration to save. Now I will select the organizational unit that turned on the reporting events. Select the Chrome Splunk connector that was just created and hit Save. The setup is now complete, and your organization is ready to get even more insights and visibility from Chrome within Splunk. For more information, check out the link you see here.